This is brought to you by the strange, the bizarre, the unusual. I like it on both Facebook and YouTube. The Damba, Dom, Beat, People. The Damba or Dom, Sanskrit Oma, dialectally also Domaki, Dombo, Damra, Damaka, Dumber, Dombari, and variants, are an ethnic group, or groups, scattered across India. In North India, the preferred self-designation is Dom. The form Amba is Prakrit, while Oma and Umba are encountered in Kashmiri Sanskrit texts. Derived from Oma is Omaki, the name of a language spoken in a small enclave in Gilgit Baltistan, Pakistan. It is also believed that the Dom or Domi people of the Middle East, in addition to the Roma of Europe, are descendants of Domba, who were taken, or traveled, to Sassanid Persia as servants and musicians. The term Oma or Amba is extensively used in Indian Hindu and Buddhist literature for a segregated and enslaved population. Etymology its presumed root, dom, which is connected with drumming, is linked to damara and damara, Sanskrit terms for drum and the Sanskrit verbal root am to sound, as a drum, perhaps alone from Dravidian, e.g. Kanada amra a pair of kettle drums, and Telugwamama a drum, tom tom. Pakistan. In 1989, 500 people were counted as speaking domaki in the Sheena Valley of Gilgit Baltistan region. The people are called Maricho, Dom, or Doma. They are musicians and blacksmiths. The Dom identity developed out of their work as musicians and blacksmiths. They are a heterogeneous group, descended from many families that took up service with the various local rulers. The Dom belong to the Nizari Ismaili sect in Hunza and the Athna Ashri Shia sect in Nagar. After land reforms carried out by the Pakistan government in the 1970s, the Dom was given ownership of land. However, the majority of the Dom are still landless and are still employed as blacksmiths. North India Dom in Himachal Pradesh exhibit the archetypal characteristics of an indigenous hunter-gatherer tribe that has been incorporated as part of the caste system. Doms are agricultural workers, basket weavers, and small-scale agriculturalists. They are not known for their nomadic existence. They are also recognized by their neighbors as the original inhabitants of the forest lands. The Dom community in Odisha speaks both the Adiya language. They live as neighbors with the Dravidian-speaking Khans tribal. Dom speak Dravidian Khandi as well as Indo-Aryan Adiya language. In Varanasi, the Hindu holy city in Uttar Pradesh, the Dom perform the most important task of cremation of dead bodies. Many are nomadic and peripatetic groups in Uttar Pradesh are said to be of Dom origins such as the Bengali, Bantu, Bazagar, Habura, Kanjar, and Sansi. It could also be that term Dom is generically used to describe any peripatetic nomad, as all these groups mentioned are distinct and strictly endogamous. Some speak a dialect or argo of their own, while others speak the prevailing dialect or language. 
The 2011 census of India for Uttar Pradesh showed the Dom as a scheduled caste with a population of 110,353. The Dom, also called Domi, Arabic, slash A-L-A-L-C, Dimi, slash Dumri, Om slash Or, or sometimes also called Doms, are a people with origins in the Indian subcontinent which through ancient migrations are found scattered across the Middle East, North Africa, Caucasus, Central Asia, and still parts of the Indian subcontinent. The traditional language of the Dom is Domari, an endangered Indo-Aryan language, thereby making the Dom an Indo-Aryan ethnic group. They have been associated with another traditionally itinerant ethnic group of Indo-Aryans variously called the Rom slash Roma slash Romani people, also known in English as Gypsies. The two groups have been said to have separated from each other or, at least, to share a similar history. Specifically, the ancestors of both the Dom and the Rom slash Roma slash Romani left the northern Indian subcontinent sometime between the 6th and 11th centuries. Culture The Dom has an oral tradition and expresses its culture and history through music, poetry, and dance. Initially, it was believed that they were a branch of the Romani people, but recent studies of the Damari language suggest that they departed from the Indian subcontinent earlier than the Romani, probably around the 6th century. The worldwide use name for gypsies to identify themselves is the term Tom, which in the Romani language means a man. The words Ram, Dom, and Lam are used to describe Romani peoples who diverged in the 6th century. Several tribes moved as far as Western Europe and are called Ram, while the ones who remained in Persia and Turkey are called Dom. Among the various Damari subgroups, the Gawazi are the most famous for their dancing and music. The Gawazi dancers have been associated with the development of the Egyptian Rax Sharki style. Distribution the majority of the estimated population of 2.2 million live in Turkey, Egypt, and Iran with significant numbers in Iraq. Smaller populations are found in Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, Sudan, Jordan, Syria, and other countries of the Middle East and North Africa. The actual population is unknown as some Dom are excluded from national censuses and others label themselves in national terms rather than as DOM nowadays, they speak the dominant languages of their larger societies, but Dom Mari, their national language, continues to be spoken by more insular communities. Iranians called them Burbati or Koli, both meaning foreigners. There is a large concentration of Dom slash gypsies in Jordan. Researchers claim that they accommodate Arab racism by hiding their ethnic identity, since they would not be accepted into Arabian society once their true identity is revealed. There is also a similar small community with some colonial Romanical ancestors in Malta. That community is called the Maltese Romanical. Bede or Beda is a nomadic ethnic group of Bangladesh. They are also known as Manta. The Bede traditionally live, travel, and earn their living on the river, which has given them the name of Water Gypsy or River Gypsy. Bede people are similar to Gypsy people. They travel in groups and never stay in one place for more than a couple of months. The majority of the Bede live on snake-related trading, such as snake charming, training, snake catching, snake selling, etc. They also sell lucky heathers and herbal medicines, which they claim have magical properties. Bede's other occupations are in the entertainment services, e.g. monkey shows, magic shows, and petty trading. Many villagers believe in the magical powers of the gypsies. They can make evil spirits leave someone's body according to magical powers. Some of them beg on the busy streets of big cities like Dhaka, Chittagong, Kolna. They do not have any kind of formal education and they do not use medical facilities. Most of them speak Bengali. Most of them are Muslim, but also practice Hinduism, shamanism, and animism, along with Islam. They are related to other South Asian nomadic groups, such as the Dom. The Beads are a marginalized group. About 98% of Beads live below the poverty line, and about 95% of Bede children do not attend school. Historically the Beads were unable to vote as they did not own land, nor could they apply for bank loans or microcredit for the same reason. However, in 2008 the Beads were able to win their right to vote. This is brought to you by the strength. 
just the bizarre, the unusual. I like it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. We love feedback. Thank <laughs> you.